At this phase of setting up our DOS system, we need to discuss memory management. Most programs in DOS require conventional memory to run, and conventional memory is limited to 640 kilobytes. So we want to be very intentional about how memory is used. The primary method of conserving conventional memory is changing the order drivers and TSRs load at boot. Let's start by opening our config sys file. At the prompt, type edit config.sys and press enter. This will open our current config sys file in the edit program. The first line should be high mem, as we needed to access the high memory area if we want to tell DOS to load there. The next line should be EMM386, which will give us access to upper memory blocks, which is the part of memory we want our drivers to load in. Now we want to add a line below EMM386, which is DOS equals high comma UMB. This tells DOS to load in the high memory area and manage upper memory blocks. Next, we can change the line that loads the CD-ROM driver from device to device high. This will load the CD-ROM driver in an upper memory block. Generally speaking, we want to load drivers and TSRs in order of memory footprint going from largest to smallest. Press the Alt key on the keyboard. This will highlight the file menu at the top of the screen. Arrow down to save and press enter. Press alt again, arrow down to exit, and press enter. Back at the prompt, type edit autoexec.bat and press enter. At the beginning of the line for MSCDEX, add the letters LH. This tells MSCDEX to load in an upper memory block. Now save the file and exit edit and reboot the system. At the prompt, type mem space forward slash c and press enter. This will display the current memory usage. From here, I recommend setting up a boot menu or exploring the world of boot disks.